what's up uh, we're at karuna gardens uh, next to bungalow number 9 and this time we're at a uh, mumbai dessert festival and although it speaks about being only of desserts with a lot of savory food to eat and what makes a well saturated and tasty food and good desserts so we're looking forward to some awesome food let's get it So what's that? That's yeah. hazelnut truffle. Actually, it's this format. This is just for the sampling purpose. Yeah. So that's I'm trying awesome. the hazelnut truffle right now. I have to say, it's really nutty. I actually really like it. It's very moussey, very tasty. How can Nutella get any better? Let's find out. Nutella and made a rich mousse out of it. That's probably what it would taste like. I like the hazelnut better because it had really a lot of nuts in it. So good, good stuff. Brown spoon. You should, you should definitely check them out. This looks tasty. So you should buy one. Then. <laughs> definitely, like we will taste it and then we'll say whether we should buy it or not. <laughs> What's the name of this uh, place? Uh, the Cream Cafe. No? The Cream Cafe. No. So they've the got classic waffle, caramel waffle. Which one's this one? So this is the Nutella waffle. Okay. Is this your best selling one? Um, yes, I think it's so beautiful. Have you made it? So is this done by like injecting colors? So we're at the Pequint and we're trying this gorgeous jelly. Look at the colours in it. It's got lychee flavour, I've been told, and the bottom is milk pudding. So it's breaking my heart to cut this and try it, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I have to know how it tastes. So I'm gonna go for it. Hope you're enjoying the dessert fest. Thank you so much, exhibitors. For coming in. So as we've cut it, you can distinctly see that there are two layers. There's one which is the milk pudding layer. And then there's a transparent layer which is gelatin. jellies that we used to get when we were children that we used to slurp and eat so this is a much more dignified and beautiful version of that so i've spotted something very unique and different looking it happens to be a middle eastern dessert and it's made of cream cheese and pastry what could be better than that i'm waiting to try it the chef looks very busy this place is super crowded but let's see if we can get a bite of this Cream cheese and pastry. Melt in your mouth. Melt in your mouth. So the place is foodie mentals and the dessert is called kunafa. It's absolutely melt in your mouth. You have to try it. And they're selling it at 30 rupees a plate. There's someone over here selling diyas that are made by children who suffer from cancer. So if you want to make your home look pretty and do a good deed at the same time, you can pick up some of these diyas. It's just 250 rupees a box. You'll be helping the families of children suffering from cancer. So this year I'll be 
been telling everyone to have a happy but also healthy Diwali. In fact, this morning I went and I tried to learn some recipes which use healthy ingredients. And here are some which I can use in my healthy burfis that I'm going to be making this year. These are some organic ingredients that I've found. And I was just looking for these. I was looking for melon seeds and kalonji. So these are some really nice ingredients which are also organic which you can buy from organic garden. So we finally found some savory food over here and it's Sindhi food and I'm a Sindhi and I love Sindhi food. I never get Sindhi food in my own house. I don't know why. So they have some very interesting things. I can see some mutton dish over there. I'm very excited to try it. Let's give it a shot. Hi. Can we try some of your... Uh, what what dish is yeah. this? This is cardamom mutton which we call in Sindhi Kokeme. I love that. My family never gives me Sindhi. <laughs> this is Sindhi curry. Can we, can we see that? That's in the curry. Yes. And what's this? That's tawa bhaji. It's like a mixed bhaji. This is chicken. So I think do tamari or gravy done. It's really good. So unlike Indian heavy masalas, it's really light on the stomach, very different, very tasty. This is what we have with the curry, it's called aloo Aloo Yeah, curry, rice and aloo ko. And the Sindhis love it with their masalas. It's very rare to find Sindhi food in Mumbai, so I guess you must check out this place when you want to order Sindhi food. Yeah, I guess so. Sonal Caterers. They've got good stuff out here. Definitely like check them out.